Hey guys, what's up? It's K7. So, Pokemon Go is here, and I was keeping you guys updated on this game all the way up until the release date. So, the game just came out recently, and I still have the same thoughts that I had about the game when I first uh, was excited about it in the beginning, and then as time gradually started um, to pass, and I eventually found out more about the game i then began to dislike the concept of pokemon go now that the game is released i now have a reason to hate the game even more so i'm you know i didn't even you know i wasn't even interested in the game's release date which means i forgot the release date which means i didn't even post a video on it because i wasn't even interested in in it and I wasn't even intending on playing uh, Pokemon Go so um, I just randomly found out about Pokemon Go had already released so I'm like okay well I'll give it a shot and uh, so my girlfriend she um, you know she's like hey Pokemon Go is out I'm like oh really all right I guess I'll give it a shot so I go to download Pokemon Go and when I downloaded Pokemon Go, they ask you to put in your date, your uh, you know, date of birth or whatever, and then you start. You talk to this fake professor guy, and then uh, you make uh, a, a, a guy or girl character. I, quite frankly, I think that the female characters look a lot better. Um, but anyway, I digress. But yes, so you can choose what color you want and um, whatever, etc. As you guys saw in the update video, on the second video, it was it's the same. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I get uh, into the game and they ask me to select my three starters. And I get to where you select the starters and I can't select the starter. Uh, the starters are there, I, I'm pressing on them, I can't select them. I'm like, hey, what the heck, man, this is really stupid. What's going on, man? This gives me a reason to hate the game even more. So I, you know, I try going out of the game, going back in it, uh, turning on the GPS. I still can't select a uh, Pokemon. So I'm like, you know what? Screw this. This game is stupid anyways. So um, I started going uh, on YouTube, started looking up some videos and stuff like that. Um, it just seems to me it's all... Um, the rave that I thought it was going to be anyway. It was just a bunch of hype that was going and headed in uh, La La Land or nowhere. Um, you pretty much, when you play this game, there's no Pokemon around you depending on where you are. And even if there is a Pokemon within your area, it's, it's kind of off to the distance. You might find a Pokemon in your house, but it's sometimes more, more than highly likely uncanny that that's going to happen when you do find a pokemon you're probably not going to feel like walking to the place to go catch the pokemon so this game isn't for lazy people i can tell you that right now you don't want to walk like 6 30 14 100 miles just to catch uh abracadabra or uh a monkey Banking. or something like that but yeah, so I think this game is still stupid. I mean, to tell you the truth, I mean, it has its perks. Okay, it's a Pokemon game for your phone, and I get that. Maybe if you're outside or something, that's the only thing this game is going to benefit on. But if you're in your house and it's a hot day or a cold day outside, you're not going to want to uh, do anything. You're not going to want to... Uh, go catch any Pokemon. But anyways, this game is really stupid. I don't like this game at all. I think they should have kept this game where they found it. The ideal is cool. You can catch your own Pokemon and have really uh, kind of like a real life experience like a trainer. But to tell you the truth, this game is just meant for the handheld. It's meant to be a game. It's not meant to be converted in real life. Um, you know, not to say that people aren't lazy enough to get off their hineys and go outside to go catch the Pokemon. It's just that it's just 
a lot of work you have to do uh, to go, you know, if you actually want to be a successful Pokemon trainer in this game, you actually need to travel a lot and you need to be spending a lot of money as well, which a lot of people don't have. I know myself, I'm not balling. I can tell you that right now. But yeah, it's, it's seriously, um, you know, money don't grow on trees and not everybody's going on vacation or not everybody's going to try to travel the whole entire world just to catch the Pokemon. Um, so, I mean, the game just still, to me, looks like, uh, you know, I said Nintendo 64 graphics before, but I, I have to say that um, it's more like GameCube graphics, but that's still not good enough considering, um, you know, the GPUs, cell around processors, and the cell phones nowadays. It's just, it, there's no excuse for this game to look this way. Um, you know, I don't, like I said, I didn't like the fact that you have to catch multiple of the same Pokemon in order to evolve uh, your Pokemon. Um, you have to go to an actual, uh, I think, Poke Store in order to get items. So, you know, that kind of sucks too. So they kind of force you to travel. And uh, like I said, the game is only meant for traveling people. And if you're not traveling, you're not going to have any fun with this game. If you're inside the house or you're a little kid and you're just around the area and you don't really go anywhere, you're not going to get anything but maybe one or two Pokemon, to say to the least. Maybe not even that if you're willing to even go to the place where the Pokemon is. You may by chance get lucky and catch something around your house. But highly than likely, depending on where you are, the Pokemon might be even in a bad place where you go and you know you can get injured from going there and try to catch Pokemon you know so this game is really um, not looking so good I don't think it's going to do so well I don't think it's going to do so well at all this is just my opinion but I, I feel like it's going to go that way I know I said that before I know I said I wasn't going to give this game a shot and I did I pretty much got to the title screen put in a date of birth and stopped where you select Pokemon because I literally could not select a starter. No matter what I did, no matter how I how hard I tried, I tried to select the starter and the game just would not let me. So I'm like, okay, well screw this game. This gives me more reason more of a reason to hate it even further. So anyways, uh, you guys let me know what you guys think about your Pokemon Go experiences thus far. Do you guys think this game is just stupid? And um, it's a good idea. It's a good concept behind it. Yeah, I get it. If you're traveling a lot, it's a good idea having a Pokemon game on your phone. You're traveling a lot. You have money to spend. You can just go in everywhere and go on an adventure in real life. I, I get the concept. But we're talking about for the average everyday uh joe or you know or or girl or or something like that so uh yeah leave your thoughts in the comment section i want to know what you guys think about this because it's it's just to me i just think this game um it could have been better i think they could have implemented some things that if you maybe aren't traveling as much you still could kind of move your character around in the area and still um, catch Pokemon, but that's okay. But that's why they have the GBA game. I mean, the uh, <laughs> um, you know 3DS game. So I'm going way back to GBA. Okay. Anyways, yeah. So just let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Uh, leave your thoughts down there. And um, yeah, that's my opinion. And that's my take on Pokemon Go. I still hate this game, and I I'm not going to be playing it. I have it on my phone, um, but it's just taking up space. So I will be deleting it. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, this has been K7. Peace and uh, happy training.